Hello, my amazing artists. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a colorful self-portrait collage. So after having painted some different skin tones using tempera paint, you're going to choose one of the skin tones. It could be your skin tone that you were born with, or it can be one that you created. And you're going to use this template. So place it in the middle so that you can trace it and i'm going to hold it down with my helper hand and then use my other hand to slowly go around this template you will trace your neck your head and your two ears you do not need to trace your shirt just yet Alrighty, after tracing them we're going to cut this out i'm going to let the black oil pastel show that's your choice. I just like how it looks. It really stands out, creates some emphasis. Now, since this is a collage, we're going to be gluing this on another piece of paper. So we're going to choose white paper. Please write your name, turn it over. And then you need to get your glue bottle out and you're going to outline the head that you traced. And this is thicker paper, so you might need a little more glue than normal. See how I'm doing some swirlies there with my glue then here's the important part you're going to turn it over and your goal is to try to line up the bottom of the neck with the bottom edge of your paper i'm trying to put this right in the middle so that it is centered i'm using my hands to press it down and then to really make sure it sticks flip it over and rub 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 like you're giving your paper a massage this is going to help the papers bind together it's called grab time all right so we've practiced drawing some eyes and now we're going to draw some eyes on our portrait so our eyes need to be about where our ears are in height you're going to draw one curved line on top and then a curved line on bottom and then let's do our other eye one curved line on top one curved line on bottom okay then we're going to color this in all the way white this is going to help make our eye color really pop out. So I'm coloring this in with white pastel. And then we need to draw the inside of our eye. This is called the iris. Your iris is the colored part. So choose whatever color you would like. If this is a self-portrait, then choose the color that matches your eye color. Or, of course, you could choose a different color. After you have colored in the iris, we need to color in the pupil. The pupil is the little black dot that's in the middle of our eyes. And then of course, if you need to go back over your uh, black oil pastel lines, you can. Okay, friends, like we've seen in class, there are so many different types of noses. All of us are unique and there's so many different types and ways to draw them. If you'd like to follow me, I'm going to draw one curved line on the bottom, and then it looks like a C, and then a backwards C. And you could leave your nose like this, or draw two little kind of slanted lines up on the sides. All right. And also, we've talked about how all of us are unique. This is your portrait. You can draw your mouth however you would like. I want to have a big smile that is showing my teeth, so drew my smiley and then I'm coloring in the mouth with white oil pastel and that's going to be for my teeth all right well I need some sort of lips so I'm going to use a pink and see how that shows up and if I like it and I feel like it's not really dark enough so I'm just going to go over that pink with the red oil pastel it looks nice when we layer our colors so you might want to try that today
And so that you can tell these are teeth, I'm drawing some vertical lines and then I'm going to draw one horizontal line. It's kind of a curved line. And then I'm missing some eyebrows. So I'm just drawing some little curved lines on top and these straight diagonal lines for my eyelashes. All right, to make our ears stand out, I'm drawing those little curved lines again on the sides. And you might want to add some little cheeks if you'd like. And then for the bottom of my chin, just one little curved line. All right, I'm loving how this is looking, but I am missing some hair. Now, no matter what type of hair you have, we're going to use watercolor today. So I'm going to draw some, or paint, sorry, some black curvy lines here. And those are going to represent my hair. Feel free to get creative with this. Maybe you need to combine some colors and you can create different values. If you notice that you need a darker color, that means that you need to add maybe some black to it to add a shade. Or maybe your color is not as bold as you would like. That means you need more paint, less water, and it also works the opposite way. If you have too much paint, that means you might need some more water. Now, after letting the watercolor dry, and it dries pretty quickly, I am going back over it with some oil pastel just to add some details there. Okay, now we need a shirt. So you have a few options for this. I thought it would be fun to use some painted papers and I'm going to use my template and I'm tracing the shape of my t-shirt here onto the painted paper. After I trace it, I'm gonna cut this out and glue it onto my collage. You could do this if you would like. I have tons of painted papers that you could use, or you could simply just use a colored piece of paper or white piece of paper and create your own design on your own shirt there. That is up to you. Now, I want to make a little curved neckline there for my t-shirt, so that's why I drew that curved line. Just gonna cut it out and there we go. It's ready to get glued on top. When gluing, your goal is to line up the, the bottom edge of your shirt with the bottom edge of our paper. Then you can turn it over and massage Again, just making sure that the shirt can grab hold to the background. All right, well now, speaking of a background, we need to create one. So we're going to use our color wheel and you can use warm colors or cool colors for your background. I am going to use cool colors and I'm going to pull out the colors I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use a light blue, a darker blue, a purple, and a green. Okay, I think that this would look really cool to make some of these radiating lines going from behind my portrait here. And I'm just choosing to create some patterns, thought that this would look cool. And I'm purposely coloring and leaving a little bit of the white background showing. And that's because I'm gonna add a layer on top of this, so. I would do something similar to what I'm doing um, just because it's gonna create some cool textures for our background. I thought I was kind of missing something, so I'm adding some purple on top of those lines that I first drew. And that's the great thing about oil pastel, you can layer these colors really easily. So be thinking about that and how you want to create an interesting background today. And just to make this artwork extra special and beautiful, I'm going to add some watercolor on top of the background. Because I used oil pastel and I'm adding watercolor on top, this is going to create a resist. 
the oil in the oil pastel does not get along with the water in the watercolor and that creates a resist. See how it's bubbling up there? Very cool. I love how that looks. And there you go, artist. That is my colorful self-portrait collage. Great job. This took a lot of work. You should be very proud of yourselves.